Welcome back to Top Welding. Today we present to you the brand new restyling of the Telwin Technology TIG 222 ACDC. A welder, which I remind you is primarily an MMA electrode welder. So for classic welding of basic, rutile, stainless steel, cast iron electrodes, and then it is a TIG welder in alternating current and direct current. So ACDC for welding all materials, iron, stainless steel, aluminum, brass, copper, bronze, and then a complete machine. We found some differences in this redesign. Internally, there were some changes to the electronic components, but externally, the big difference is in the control panel. Just as there was an update on the 202, here we also have the panel on the 222. Remember that the maximum current is always 200 amperes and a duty cycle of 115 amperes at 60%. Regarding the supply, the welder is provided just like the previous model. So we have the welder, a 25 millimeters square, two meter long ground cable is supplied with a clear connection, 50 millimeters squared, cylinder adapter. We have a gas regulator with female connection, gas hose with clamps, instruction and safety manual, a 26 four meter TIG torch with 50 millimeters squared connection and button connector and gas connector and this is the power cable that comes without a plug because the welding machine absorbs a little bit more than 16 amps at the maximum welding current. I am showing you the back of the welding machine where we clearly have the power switch. Then we have the round connector for the foot pedal remote control or possibly the potentiometer control for the electrode. Then we have the connections, the one below for possible water cooling, the gas connector where, for example, we supply the quick connector that you can find on the page of the welding machine among the accessories at the bottom. Here is the control panel. I've positioned myself a bit in the shadow so you can clearly see all the functions on the display without any glare. First of all, on the left, we select the desired welding process. In this case, we have MMA shielded electrode welding and we use the potentiometer to navigate through the various functions within the curve. As the first function in the bottom left, we have the VRD for the voltage at the terminals, which we can activate or not depending on where we are going to use the welder. Moving forward, we find the adjustable start, the starting tension, the welding current, and the arc force, which is also adjustable during the welding process. Let's go see the functions of the TIG. Right now, I have set it to high frequency, allowing the arc to start without touching the tungsten to the workpiece. Direct current is used mainly for welding iron and stainless steel. Then with the potentiometer, I move along the curve. At the bottom left, I find the pre-gas. Then I find the ramp that is currently turned off. If I were to activate it, the start current would automatically turn on too. Here it is. Let's turn it off. Welding current. Downhill ramp, also this in seconds, and the moment I activate it, I can adjust the EN, so the end ramp current. Post gas. And here we have the basic function, let's say, for the steel, stainless steel in DC current. Let's adjust now if the TIG is always with high frequency, but AC. So alternating current for aluminum welding. As you can hear, the fan is not working now because after a period of time when the welding machine is not used, the fan automatically turns off. 
we always move within our TIG curve and here we always have the pre-gas on the left. We have the preheating of the electrode for a much more precise ignition where we set the diameter of the tungsten we are using. Then we find the ramp up if activated, always with the E start that is activated. We always switch off welding current. Frequency of the C balance. Here I recommend working around 55, which is an average value that can be fine. Down ramp. End of ramp current and post gas. Pressing the left button again lights up both the AC and the DC. This is a new feature that was already implemented on the 202 new and it was called CDC Mix. It is a particular function that is recommended, for example, for welding slightly thicker materials. It is used to penetrate more into the piece. If we press again, we will find the direct current from before and then the lift functions. So the direct current lift with the ignition by touching the tungsten on the piece. Regarding the button at the bottom right, we can also adjust the two-stroke. Four-stroke, we have the bi-level, so you can control and switch from one power to another by pressing the torch button. This is the spot function. And on this machine, we also have the thin spot allowing us to set a very, very short welding time to make precise welds on very, very thin materials. I will then show you the selection of a very important function of this welding machine. By holding this button for three seconds, we activate the pulse, which allows us to weld with two alternating currents. This results in less deformation of the piece and definitely makes it easier for the operator especially on very thin materials. We have the button function where we adjust the two currents, the frequency and everything else. Also, the Telvi has the Easy Pulse program, which means an easy setup that allows you to adjust the initial current and other parameters are automatically adjusted accordingly. So the second current, the frequency, everything is already suggested by Telvi so definitely a great tool for those who are just starting with welding and learning. Another function on the left, if I hold down the button for three seconds, is the function of jobs, of customized programs, because I can select my program once I have set all my values and go to save my personalized programs well, we have also completed this quick presentation of the brand new Telwin Technology TIG 222. We always remind you that our support remains available to you before and after purchase. And if you need a hand with consumable accessories and certainly help with the adjustment of the spreader, I bid you farewell and see you next time. Bye.